Yeah, y'all already know what it is, mate. My name is Nick. My name is Jimmy. We are Spit Syndicate holding it down for the One Day Crew. And this is the AU Review at Come Together. We've oh. been here before kind of as part of our friend set, as part of the horror show set and other performers set, but this is our first time actually doing our own Spit Syndicate set here. It's a, it's a festival that's evolved over the years and over the last couple has become you know, one of the leading supporters of, of uh, hip hop, especially in Sydney. Uh, what does it mean to be a part of part of this festival uh it's awesome we've, we've wanted to play here for a minute now and and as nick said we've been sitting uh backstage and, and witnessing a few other acts play um it's, aw- it's awesome we actually came to this festival before it was strictly uh hip-hop so it's good to be amongst our peers and and up on stage performing love it what can we expect from the set in about uh less than an hour <coughs> less than an hour um just a bunch of new songs from from our album and a, a, a lot of energy. You know, it's always good playing all age crowds um, because you know the, the young fans get into it a lot, and we like playing in front of young crowds. But also, we haven't played to to a, on a stage like this um, for a while, so it's going to be good to go there and run around and just test it out. And amongst some good company as well. Definitely, there's a bunch of. of of crazy acts on there so it's it's nice to be up amongst that so yeah we're, we're here as fans but we're also here as performers so it's cool never hurts to be a bit of both never i would argue that they're not mutually exclusive <laughs> I, I would say the same and um you just came off uh, a tour of your own for sunday gentlemen how did uh, how'd that go it went really well it was our, it's the best tour we've ever done the most fun we've had going on tour with Joyride and Jackie Onassis and ourselves was, was killer. We had a really good time and yeah, we just got a really good feeling going out there and you know playing these songs that we'd worked on for so long and actually finally getting to you know show them to people and have people react to them and just you know connect with the people that listen to our music and buy our music and come to our shows because that's all that you know it's all that really matters. So it was cool. It's fucking mad. Fans have been waiting a long time for the record. I mean, how does it feel to, to finally have it out there? It's a relief. It's it's yeah. It feels really good. I mean, I guess once you when you're in the album process, it's it's can be tedious and uh, disheartening at times. But the payback and the payoff is really when um, you get out there and you see people singing it back and and you hear people's comments once they've heard it and. It makes it all worth it, so it's it's satisfying being out. It's, it's a relief, but it's um, we're 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 still working, man. We're on to the next record, and I think the trick is is to keep the ball rolling. So that's what we're trying to do this time around. So what does the rest of you hold for you then? A lot more touring, a lot more writing. Yeah, we want to uh, do another tour uh, around spring. Um, so we're just putting the finishing touches on that and just making new songs. Really, that's that's our main objective: is to go out there and play as many shows, but to also just write as much new material as we can and um, hopefully we'll have a, another record out there uh, before too long. We were talking to Dielectrics before about you know the physical album and I, and I think in terms of some in terms of your physical album it's one of the most impressive covers and cases that I've seen in, in some time. Thank you man. ages looking at that. Can you talk a little bit about the process of putting that package together? Um, well we've been working with uh, some designers uh, through April 77, which is a Sydney uh, group. And we've worked with them since our first album. And we had a, uh, a brief kind of idea of, of what we wanted. Um, and they're just very good at manifesting our vision. And yeah, we, want, we, we don't like to, we like to have some control over every aspect of the music and our look. So I think the, the artwork was a very important part. It's a good tool to, you know, push who you are and, and how you want to be perceived. So we had a good hand in it, but you know, a lot of, I, we can't take too much credit. April 77, Ben Funnel and Nerida Funnel, they're amazing. And um, yeah, we, I, I, I like that aspect. You know, it's another way to to get your point across. So it was, it was fun and we're happy with it. Do you hope people pick up the physical? Always, I mean, uh, yeah. If you're, if you're a true fan, then you will, you know, like, right. we all download music, we both download music, everyone does it, but if, you're, if there's an album that you, or an artist that you really support, then it's good to pick up the physical, because you get, you know, something you can't get from downloading a torrent. 
I feel like you listen to it differently, sure. you know. When you hold it there and, and, and you've purchased it, I feel like you listen to it with some intent as opposed to just some microwave music out there. So, yeah, it's important to us.